Tinleytown. Kimberly, I'm on Wisconsin Avenue in Tinleytown, just south of the Tinleytown uh, Metro stop. And take a look over here where you see that Metro bus just in front of Steak and Egg, if you know the area, with the flashers on. He is stuck, and that driver has been stuck there for about half an hour or so. In fact, a few minutes ago, uh, they sent in a second Metro bus to pick up the passengers from the stall bus uh, to take them on to their destination. Now, this has been a problem area for a good part of the day. This is the way I came into work, and it is a little bit of a hill here um, and the problem is that midway of that hill there is a stoplight so once traffic stops there uh, they are really unable to get the traction right away to get up the hill but this bus pulled over here to a bus stop and got stuck he's been rocking back and forth trying to get out but so far no luck in all of that and as you can see now as things are starting to get the snow still comes down you can't see pavement here cars are taking a little bit slow and getting uh, having difficulty getting up the hill themselves uh, things are probably only get worse my my guess is they may have to bring a tow truck in to get him out because he just can't seem to get out. Again, rocking back and forth, pulling up, pulling backwards, uh, and uh, can't seem to get out. So things are pretty dismal. If you've heard it, you know, once you've heard it a million times, it is really bad out. And though I, I see a lot of traffic out, people who I'm not sure why they're out, but things are pretty bad and getting worse. And as the temperatures, uh, as the weather folks just said, as the temperatures and this new precipitation comes in later, it's only going to get worse. So we're going to stand by and see what happens with this Metro bus. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, things pretty dicey here out in the district. Uh, for now, we're live in Northwest D.C. I'm Ross Plater. Back to you. Ross, the snow is setting up dangerous driving conditions all around the area. Jeff Goldberg spent the day on roads around our region. He's live in Arlington tonight. Jeff, are you surprised by the number of people out on the roads? I was, uh, Kimberly, and that caused a lot of problems for the plows because they really could not do a lot of their work because too many, too much traffic was going on on the roads. Main roads like this, this is George Mason Drive here in Arlington, somewhat clear, but certainly not great. The bigger problems, of course, not surprising, was the side streets, like 8th Street South, especially when you come up these hills. It made it very difficult for cars to go up and down, and it's only going to get worse as we get into the evening. Bottom line is all day today, really no one had it easy. No matter the description, the roads are horrible. Awful. <laughs> all over town, everyone came to the same conclusion. The roads are really bad, man. I'm just getting all over the place, man. There's like ice everywhere. It's not good to be out. But naturally, people were out, leading to more problems than we could possibly keep track of. We started on the GW Parkway in McLean, headed north. Backups one after the other as park police were busy responding to fender benders and cars in the ditch. Going to the store and going back home, I'm not going to, I can't drive anymore. Things didn't get any better on 495. The American Legion Bridge into Maryland was slow going, caked in snow and slush. On the inner loop by the 270 split, we met Slav Paley, who Saturday suddenly got inconvenient and costly. This vehicle went to the side of the road and hit me, and I, like I didn't know where to go. I tried to slow down and stop. Drivers on main roads like Rockville Pike did not fare much better, as heavy traffic prevented plows from clearing. And everywhere, highways, main roads, side streets, it was the hills that gave drivers the most trouble. When you're trying to go uphill, it's, it's not possible because you're just going to be sliding all over the place. People are trying to go uphill and they get stuck in the middle, so it delays everything. Heading back into the city, Wisconsin Avenue in Bethesda, also bad, snow and slush, a lot of traffic. Those on two feet struggled too, trying to keep up with a steady flow of snowfall. And in northwest D.C. we ran into a frustrated Leonardo Dorset, who noticed some plows at work, but others sitting idle. It's, it's sad. The, the city knew it was coming. They should have uh, actually been prepared more than they are now. Preparation is one thing, toughness and tolerance another. Upstate New York and Minnesota and all of them can handle it. We should, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing compared to them. And they're laughing at us. <laughs> well, they may have been laughing at us all week, but now it's actually starting to get serious after a pretty good week here in Arlington. It's probably about six inches is what we're looking at here. But again, the real issue in terms of concern and safety is about the plowing. VDOT had 2,400, still has 2,400 trucks out on the road right now in northern Virginia plowing and treating when they can. But really, the amount of traffic is making it very hard for them to do their jobs. The uh, message they want to get out to get out to people all across the region, if you do not have to be on the roads, do not 
be on the roads. That's the bottom line. Live in Arlington, Jeff Goldberg, News Channel 8. And our team coverage is keeping you informed about the weather all around the region. Next, we want to take you live to Winchester, Virginia, where Richard Reeve is standing by. Rich, you usually get a little more snow out your way. Yeah, Kim, that's right. Take a look at this plowed snow here. Uh, obviously, this is not how high the snow is. We've had about five to six inches, but it has been falling continuously since about nine o'clock this morning. And here, like everywhere else, the big concern is the roads. Snow plows along Route 7 outside Winchester, fighting back against this February storm. I don't know. <laughs> it's just crazy out here. Main roadways are passable now. But many neighborhood streets are unplowed. I could do without it. Uh, it has been a nasty little winter around here. Up north in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, drivers along Route 340 were going nowhere fast. It appears that that woman up there is stuck and can't get her car out. It wasn't just her. We have the plow. This is it's crazy. It was three tractor trailers that couldn't make it uphill, causing a mile-long backup. It's irritating. I have to get to a station to unload, so uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be out here. It wasn't just snow. Whiteouts made driving difficult. That's horrible, man. I just want to get home. In Winchester, at least five inches of snow to shovel. Jeff Edwards is getting winter fatigue. Eventually, it's going to get us. It always does. We always get a big one around here sometime or another. With some roads so slick, kids could sled on them. Back in Harper's Ferry, frustration between drivers and plows. You need to make sure that you yield the emergency vehicle, especially in inclement weather. Well, they don't want us to pass right yet. Well, they the Eventually, some good Samaritans got that stuck car out. For most drivers, this is a day of snow frustration. We're just stuck out here, I guess. We're just at the mercy of uh, the weather. And plows like this are a very common sight in the Winchester area. And in fact, at this moment, Kimberly, I can feel the snow beginning to turn to sleet. Uh, this is the kind of accumulation we've had so far. And as we've heard from Eileen Whalen and Steve Rudin, we are expecting more. This will be a long night. In Winchester, Richard Reeve, News Channel 8. A real tale of two snowstorms. Thanks, Rich. There are some